Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And in this one, I want to show you guys where to catch a Charcadet early on in the game. Charcadet, of course, being one of the new Pokemon, the little sort of Mega Man looking guy, which will evolve into the version exclusives. If you have Scarlet, that is Armor Rouge. And if you have Violet, that is Cerulege. Now, of course, if you guys don't want to know where to find them, then I would highly recommend not being on this video. Alternatively, if you want to know where to get an early Charcadet, but you then want to work out the rest of it for yourself, I will cover that bit first and then talk about the evolutions after. So feel free to either step away or watch part of the video and then come back later. Either way, if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions and of course do be sure to keep it locked because you've got plenty of Scarlet and Violet content coming your way. So to begin with, first things first, it is worth noting Chocodec can spawn at pretty much any location on the map. As you can see from the Pokedex, it tells you locations this thing can spawn and it is pretty broad. So there's a good chance you'll just see this whilst roaming around the world. However, if you do want a couple of early game locations that are relatively easy to get to, then I will cover those right now. First one, of course, if you go over to here on the map, you basically want to go and climb up and jump just past one of the sort of uh, raid dens there. And then over on this area here is where I actually caught my first chocolate. So of course, this is definitely a handy location. I have found, however, that once I've caught it and gone back, it hasn't respawned in that location location so if you guys are not able to get it here or of course you don't necessarily have the ability to jump up higher then what you can instead do is continue over to this location you see right now what we want to do is basically go to the sort of top of the deserty area in this canyon and basically go to the very end here this sort of uh you know corner so to speak or however you want to describe it the dead end basically once you go in there there will be another chocolate there and this applies to both scarlet and violet because this pokemon is catchable in both However, what happens after that is, of course, version specific. So, first things first, catch your Chocolate. And of course, if you go to the locations that I've listed right now, then it will probably be around level 14 or 15. So, keep that in mind when it comes to having things in your party so that you can, you know, ideally not kill it and then go and catch it. But once you've caught it, you're then going to need to do two very specific things if you want to evolve it. It will not evolve simply based on leveling up. It actually requires a specific item, which means you can evolve it at any level, which is rather convenient. So, starting off, off with Pokemon Scarlet. What you then want to do is head over to the Asado Desert, which is in the sort of northwestern part of the map. And you then want to make your way up to this area here, where there are basically a load of ruins. When you're here, you'll find a load of Bronzor floating around. And what you then want to do is go around and defeat them. You can do this using the auto battle mechanic, makes it super quick. But basically, upon defeating the Bronzors, you will then get an item called Bronzor Fragment. You need a total of 10 of these. You can, of course, get more and trade for more items if you want to. But for the purpose of this, you need need at least 10. So find a Pokemon that is appropriate level. You don't necessarily need to be super high level at the time of doing this. My uh, Lee Pokemon was about level 28. So that was, uh, you know, not too high, not too far away. Either way, go around, defeat 10 Bronzor, get the 10 Bronzor fragments. And then once you've done that, we'll need to go to the location. However, just before there, switching over to Pokemon Violet. Instead for you, what you want to do is go to the southwest part of the map and go to this area over here. Basically outside where the sort of Pokemon Center is, you run into this open field and you are looking for Sinistee. Same principle here, you run around and you defeat Sinistee, and instead the item you will get is the Sinistee Chip. So again, just like before, you need 10 of these. So for Scarlet, you need 10 Bronzor Fragments. For Violet, you need 10 Sinistee Chips. Once you've done that in either game, what you then want to do is head over to this location here. You want to go to Zapapico, and then once you get to this town, you want to wander through, and you will then find this guy standing over by the waterfall. He is the guy that you need to speak to because he will then trade either the 10 Bronzor Fragments or the 10 Sinistee Chips for the relevant armor set. If you're in Scarlet, you'll be given the Auspicious Armor. Meanwhile, if you're in Violet, you'll be given the Malicious Armor. Either way, when you have those, make sure that Chocolate is in your team, and you then go over to your other items, scroll to the bottom, you'll have your armor set, you then use this, and your Pokemon will evolve. So, there you have it. Quick little guide on where to find an early Chocodet, how to get the items needed, and how to evolve it into either Armor Rouge or Cerulege, the version exclusive Pokemon. Both incredibly cool. I love both of them. I'm playing Scarlet, so of course Armor Rouge is mine, and 269 is playing Violet, hence why he has Cerulege. But anyway, hopefully this guide has been helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to keep it locked for plenty more. If you've missed some of the recent videos, you can check out one of these ones, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.